I'm going to do another um, ellipse drawing um, mechanism. Figure 179. I'm working from this book. So as usual, you put in an axis. In this mechanism, we're going to have um, a vertical um, line which um, some sliders are going to uh, move around. So let's put that vertical line um, uh, perpendicular. But this line is going to be able to go backwards and forwards. So it's, um, we don't want it specified relative to the y-axis. There's going to be a crank somewhere up here. And let me just pull this down here. We're going to have another slider crank out here. And this is going to uh, connect up like that. So this is going to have a particular distance, A, and this length here is going to have the same distance, A. Uh, this one will be B, or we could just say K times A. Um, that's actually going to make our equation a bit simpler of the ellipse at the end. Uh, so we're scaling everything by um, uh, this length here, this A. And now we're going to put this location is on the y-axis and we're going to fix its position relative to the x-axis with the distance here, call that B, and we'll call the crank length R. And let's give it specify its angle theta to the vertical. So here's my mechanism now uh, doing its thing. I think it's pretty clear we'd like R to be a bit smaller than B. So let's just do that. And let's watch the mechanism. have to stop it here. Okay, so the, um, there's my mechanism doing its thing. We'd like the locus of E as theta varies. Uh, we see that looks suitably um, ellipse formed. And we can determine this equation, of course, in our equations panel. The equation of that curve. And we see um, nicely expressed as um, the equation of an ellipse. Uh, left to the reader, where's the center of that ellipse and um, what are its principal axes?